10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and just three, go. 2, 1. Lift off the vehicle, get the pad. We're creating a lot of new things here, right? So we're, we're kind of pioneering the future and it's really how much do you want to get involved? How much do you want to learn about something? And it seems like the opportunities here are really just endless. Having one another's back is one of our core values. So we try and work together as a team to deliver exceptional results. Cultural impact was something that really drew me. It's like, we are here because we like to be here and we don't want to leave and we want to build things that are amazing. I feel very honored to be part of this project. Every mission, it's, it's a challenge, but it's just so rewarding as a professional and as a, as a woman to be part of it. If you want to learn about something, you could always just approach someone within the company and learn about it. That kind of goes to the culture here as well, because we're all really close here. I consider the people I work with here some of my best friends. Yeah, you know, I've really looked forward to showing up every day, and I learn a lot from them too. Everybody here is just brilliant. Collaboration is key, right? When you when you're doing innovative things, it's just ultra important that everybody's communicating effectively and and on the same page and working well together. But we often like force the communication, we, we send people to New Zealand, New Zealand folks come here, right? We want to make sure that we have constant communication through the design phase into production. And that comes from the people. I, I think I think that's actually part of the reason why I really like the small company feel, right? Because it's easy to recognize all of the effort that you put into, into your work. And that allows for like actual movement within the company. I will have to say this is the first time that I feel happy every day working. I love the culture of this place, the people, it's bright, it's amazing, but they're very humble. And I have to say that starts from the CEO. Peter, as the CEO, he's not only the technical lead, but the personnel lead as well. He's incredibly capable and technical engineer, but at the same time, he's also very pragmatic. Yeah, he's, he's just another member of the team, right? Like, yeah, he is the founder and the owner, but he's really just another member of the engineering team as well. Rocket Lab, it, it, it does start with the mission. I think it starts with the people. There's an incredible team here that has both expertise, but also an incredible sense of teamwork tied to delivery on those missions. And for me, I think it's the best of both worlds that you still get the innovative feel of a startup with also the maturity of a company that brings our track record as well as the scope of, of 1,500 people across multiple locations to the forefront. So you're at the starting point of the next phase of, of kind of Rocket Lab's journey to, to growth and success as we continue to stand up new locations like Virginia as well as integrate in a lot of exciting companies that have joined the company in the last year. Lift off, vehicle skid the pad.